Hi, and welcome to the Cubase 6.5 update series. This is our first video on the Retrolog, and it's going back to the analog sense of yesteryear. Navigate through the patches the same way you will with all its other plugins. You can see items update in the back. In fact, our sound will change. plethora of patches to go through. I think you'll like the sound of them. And it gives you a basic go back to square one kind of look here. But let's go ahead and let's bring in a patch we can use. And uh, let's go ahead and do amiable keys here. Let's get out of this. Now, let's talk about our business of our tutorial here, which is going across the top, our voice parameters and the main parameters. Now these will allow you to switch from monophonic to poly and what happens when you run out of voices there's some parameters here and this is basically your output series here your final stuff and we'll talk about all this so let's switch to mono mono says you can only play one note at a time great i hold down a c and an e at the same time i only hear the c that's the way it's going to be retrigger kind of a nice little feature it says you know as long as you keep that first note held down when you play the second note it'll jump up to that but as soon as you or down to that as soon as you release that second note, it'll go back to the original note. And it's great for trills. So I'm going to hold down a C, play an E quickly. Okay, keyboard monster here. Now, polyphonic mode, poly mode. 2 to 128 voices or notes is your setting. Double click, enter anything you'd like. Within those parameters, you can also use your up and down arrows to adjust these as well. Once you run out of notes or voices, your parameters over here kick in. Glide usually works best in mono mode. So we're going to go to mono mode here. Now, we have glide time, and you can hear the difference here. So let's go ahead and do glide. And let's jump this up a ways. Getting the idea. By the way, PC, Alt, Click, Option, Click on the Mac, brings up the slider, Click and Hold. I think it's a way easier way to adjust this stuff. Now, you can put it in fingering mode. So what's that mean? It means that you have to basically hold two notes down to get it. You have to overlap the notes. So I do a staccato C, nothing, a staccato F. Okay, now if I hold down the C, play the F, you get the glide. So fingering gives you a little more control. Otherwise, it's just automatic. Let's turn all that off. Let's talk about our voice modes here. This is what happens when you run out of voices. And let's actually go back into uh, turn this off and go to back to poly. And we're going to drop it down to three here for my demonstration purposes. Voice mode. So last verse, low high. What do they mean? Well, once you run out of voices, the last note, the most recent note you play, or the recent notes, get priority. They'll be It'll drop an old note and play your new note. First says, hey, I'm going to keep the old notes and forget your new notes. You've run out of voices. Low says, you know, you've run out of voices unless you got something lower. In pitch, we're not going to play it. Conversely, unless you got something higher in pitch, we're not going to play it. So let's take a quick look at those. So last, okay, so if I play two notes. Great. Played C and an E and then G on top of it, and it showed up. That's perfect. So now, because G was the most recent, let's go to first. And we will not hear the G. I'll play the C and the E. Add the G. Forget about it. All right. Now we'll go to low. And we won't hear the G. I'll play the C and the E. Playing a G, we aren't hearing it. Now playing A below it, we're in the money. And conversely, we go to high, we'll play that C and E. Play the A, we won't hear it. Go to a G, and we've got it. So now trigger mode. Trigger mode says, hey, what happens once you run out of voices? Let's go back into mono mode for that. It says, what happens when you run out of voices? What's gonna happen with the note when we trigger it? So normal says, you know, it's just gonna do its thing. So we hit a note. In fact, I'm going to change the uh, amplifier envelope here a little bit. So we have attack, decay, sustain, release in the output stage of our amplifier, our volume. This envelope here is for our filter section. We'll explore those in separate videos. This will just make it a little more obvious. So I've got an attack here that's going to take a moment to build. You can hear that's normal mode. By the way, this is all going to be different depending on what patch you have and other parameters. Okay, so we've got resume. So basically, normal says, hey, we just ignore everything. We just play it. Everything is triggered new. 
Resume says, you know, the envelope is going to be retriggered, but we're going to try to match the level of the stolen notes. Let's see if we can hear a difference. And we're hearing a little bit of stuff here. Let's go to Legato. Legato says, you know, we're not going to retrigger this envelope. Whenever that note comes in, it's just going to be placed on the envelope where it is. So. These can be pretty subtle. They can be pretty obvious depending on the patch. Let's go forward here and let's talk about our output stage. So we can shift off this. Easily done. Okay. We can randomize our pitch. If you go up to 100%, it's about plus or minus six semitones. This is best demonstrated, I think, if you just repeat the same pitch over and over. So let's do this. I'm going to repeat middle C. So there's your randomization. I'm going to control click because I'm on a PC, get it back to its default, command click on the Mac. You have your pitch bend. How many semitones up and down do you want to do with your pitch bend wheel? Now, if you're a guitar controller guy, MIDI guitar controller, you might want plus and minus 12. Could work pretty well for patches. All right, tuning. Standard is 440 in our country, in the US of A, my country, I guess, where I'm living anyway at this time. So you can adjust that according to match your performance. And volume, this is your output stage, your master volume. Remember, you got voice control, mono, or polyphonic, and you can only have one or the other. You can set your voices, you can do your glide, you can do your fingering, glide time, voice mode, trigger mode, and you have your output stage. So, hope you got a tip or two out of it. Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.